How's it going, people? Um, playing this out CD. It's excellent. Best of Godzilla from 84 to 95. But don't buy it. I'm not supposed to be playing this. And they probably don't want people to find out about this. They'd rather have it collect dust somewhere. Even though I've actually found music I never heard of on YouTube and bought the CDs. Like Corporate Avenger. I would have never heard of them. I found out about them through YouTube. Now I'm a fan. Whatever. I guess I'm just a bad person. Here I am still breaking the rules. Oh, this is something I found. He Brew Origin. It's pomegranate ale. Imperial Amber Ale brewed with luscious pomegranate juice. He brew the chosen beer. So, it ought to be good. I think a good close look. He He brew. As you can see, I've had a long day. I'm being silly already. And I haven't even drank anything yet. Ooh. <laughs> what is that, a rabbi or something on the back? He's kind of uh, stereotypical looking. Let's see. Huh. Well, I can't wait to find out. Let's see if it comes to pass. Chapter 58. Of Alma. We're almost done. Now, and here's a, a couple of pictures uh, put in here is possible evidence. This is um, a hole in the ground that's been tiled in. It's possibly a baptismal. It's definitely not a well. And then there's a, probably a couple of Mormons visiting someplace 20 miles from Peru that I can't pronounce. And that is a possible baptism. That's what they even say here. Possible. So that's big of them. It's almost honest. They know damn well we're not finding any coins, any chariot wheels, any roads for the chariots, any horses that lived during that time. They were all prehistoric until the Spaniards brought them. They died off like uh, around the Ice Age. Oh, well. Helaman's epistle concluded. Nephite operations before Manti. A Lamanite sortie. Gid and uh, Teomner, Teomner captured the city. Enemy withdrawals. You almost don't need to read the chapter. All right. One. And behold, now came to pass. Time to try a little Hebrew pomegranate. Damn, that's delicious. Wow. Another look, folks. This gets a thumbs up so far. We'll see if it has staying power. Some tastes get overwhelming. But that is delightful. And full of antioxidants, I'm sure. That, our next object, was to obtain the city of Manti. But behold, there was no way that we could lead them out of the city by our small bands. For behold, they remembered that which we had hitherto done. I was wondering. They've fallen for the same trick a few times. They're slow, but they catch on. Two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, therefore they could not decoy them away from the strongholds. Two. And they were so much more numerous than that of our, than was our army, that we durst not go forth and attack them in their strongholds. 
Three. Yay. And it became expedient that we should employ our men to the maintaining of those parts of the land which we had regained of our possessions. Therefore, it became expedient that we should wait. It's expedient that you wait. Kind of like hurry up and wait, isn't it? That we might receive more strength from the land of Zarahimla, also a new supply of provisions. Four. And it came to pass. God, isn't this a bitch in soundtrack? It's too bad I can't recommend it. Want to get in trouble? Yeah, so don't buy it. Uh, uh, Four. And it came to pass that I thus did send an embassy to the governor of our land to acquaint him concerning the affairs of our people. And it came to pass. Compensation. That we did wait to receive provisions and strength from the land of Zarahimla. Five. But behold, this did profit us but little, for the Lamanites were also receiving great strength from day to day, probably better. And also many provisions, and thus were our circumstances at this period of time. Six. And the Lamanites were sallying forth against us from time to time, resolving by stratagem to destroy us. Those bastards. That's sneaky. Nevertheless, We could not come to battle with them because of their retreats and their strongholds. Seven. And it came to that. Hmm. Delish. That we did wait in these difficult circumstances for the space of many months. No miracles, huh? Even until we were about to perish for want of food. How about a little manna? Man? Eight. But it came to pass. Ugh. That we did receive food, which was guarded to us by an army of two thousand men to our assistance. And this was all the assistance which we did receive to defend ourselves and our country from falling into the hands of our enemies. Yea. To contend with an enemy which was innumerable, or at least too high for you to count. <laughs> oh, and now, the cause of these are embarrassments, or the cause why they did not send more strength unto, a, unto us, um, we know not. Therefore, we were grieved and also filled with fear, lest by any means the judgments of God should come upon our land to overthrow and utter and to our overthrow and utter destruction. Ten. Therefore, 
we did pour out all pour out our souls in prayer to God. Because apparently, I mean, the greater the numbers, the greater the reach, the range. <laughs> that he would strengthen us and deliver us out of the hands of our enemies, yea, and also give us strength that we might retain our cities and our lands and our possessions for the support of our people. 11. Yea, and it came to pass. that the Lord our God did visit us with assurances that he would deliver us. Yay! Insomuch that he did speak peace to our souls and did grant unto us great faith. Okay. Recharge your faith batteries. And did cause us that we should hope for our deliverance in him. That's really fucking impressive. Not really. Twelve. And we did take cor courage with our small force, which we had received, and were fixed with a determination to conquer our enemies and to maintain our lands and our possessions and our wives and our children and the cause of our liberty. Probably your religion, huh? Uh, right. Thirteen. And thus we did go forth with all our might against the Lamanites who were in the city of Manti and we did pitch our tents by the wilderness side, which was near to the city. Fourteen. Excuse me. A little more Hebrew pomegranate. Oh, that's nice. So. And it came to pass. Uh, that on the morrow, that when the Lamanites saw that we were in the borders by the wilderness, which was near the city, that they sent out their spies round about us, that they might discover the number and the strength of our army. Fifty and came to pass. Uh, that when they saw that we were not strong according to our numbers, and fearing that we should cut them off from their support except they should come out to battle against us and kill us, and also supposing that they could easily destroy us with their numerous hosts. You know, a host is a large number, and numerous means a large number. Numerous hosts, huh? A lot of a lot. A bunch of a bunch. I think oxymormon's better than tautology. Or tautology, excuse me. See, that's too fucking. Yeah. That I mean. Anyway. Excuse me, I'm losing my life. Uh, <clears throat> Therefore, they began to make preparations to come out against us to battle. Sixteen. And when we saw that they were making preparations to come out against us. Behold, 
I caused that God, that Gid. Oh man, I thought it was God for a second. I thought he was going to do something. Caused that Gid, G I D, with a small number of men should secrete himself in the wilderness, and also that Tiongner and a small number of men should secrete themselves also in the wilderness. All right, that's Shades of the Book of uh, Joshua when uh, they trick the people of, what is it, AI, I think? Something like that. It's a weird name like that. AI. Um, A, maybe even? I don't know. Yeah. It's, this is an old chestnut, folks. <laughs> Very old. Seventeen. Now Kid and his men were on the right, and the others on the left. And that's why nothing gets done in this country. <laughs> and when, and when they had thus secreted themselves, behold! I don't want to hear about their secretions. <laughs> I remain with the remainder of my army in that same place where we had first pinched, pitched our tents against the time that the Lamanites should come out to battle. Great soundtrack, don't Eighteen, and it came to pass that the Lamanites, excuse me, I'm sorry, almost forgot. The Lamanites are just going to have to wait. The Lamanites did come out with their numerous army against us, and when they had come and were about to fall upon us with the sword, he only had one sword. I just can't. I'm just <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I get it. I get it. All right. <laughs> I lost my place. Sorry. Okay. Sword. Yeah. I caused that my men, those who were with me, should retreat into the wilderness. 19. And it came to pass. Did I hear a bell ring? <laughs> Someone get that. <laughs> uh, 19. And it came to pass that the Lamanites did follow after us with great speed. For they were exceedingly desirous to overtake us, that they might slay us. Therefore, they did follow us into the wilderness, and we did pass by the midst of Gid and Teomner, those crafty bastards, insomuch that they were not discovered by the Lamanites. 20. And it came to pass... Uh, that when the Lamanites had passed by, or when the army had passed by, of the Lamanites, I guess, Gid and Tiomner did rise up from their secret places and did cut off the spies of the Lamanites that they should not return to the city. 21. And it came to pass that when they had cut them off, 
they ran to the city and fell upon the guards who were totally, totally a ripoff of the Book of Judges. I mean, Joshua. Sorry. And so much that they did destroy them and take possession of the city. I think that also happened to Gibb of Benjamin and Judges. Same shit. Twenty-two. <clears throat> Hang on. My last one. Simpler times. I'm gonna buy more of them. It's cheap and it's good, and it might get me through this book. I've totally fucked this up. I lost my place again. Now this was done because the Lamanites did suffer their whole army, save a few guards only, to be led away into the wilderness. That was the first one. Uh, Alright, this must be where I was. 23. And it came to pass. You know, I just might do one of these fucked up videos on it. No, it'd be too long. <laughs> mm, that's nice. Nice and smooth and crisp and basic. <sighs> no pomegranate. And it came to pass, in verse 23, that Gid and Teomner, by the, this means, had obtained possession of their strongholds. And it came to pass, in the same fucking verse. Uh, that we took our. Wait. Excuse me. That we took our course after having traveled much in the wilderness towards the land of Zarahumla. 24. And. When the Lamanites saw that we were marching towards the land of Zarahimla, they were exceedingly afraid, lest there was a plan led, laid to lead. A, sorry, excuse me. Fucking this up. That's all. Right. Uh, a, there was a plan laid to lead them on to destruction. Therefore, that's what they're afraid. Of. Therefore, they began to retreat into the wilderness again. Yay! Even back the same way which they had come. Twenty-five. <laughs> and behold. It was night, and they did pitch their tents, for the chief captains of the Lamanites had supposed that the Nephites were weary because of their march, and supposing they had driven their whole army, therefore they took no thought concerning the city of Manti. 26. Now to pass <clears throat> that when it was night I caused that my men should not sleep but that they should march forward by another way towards a land of Manti Shades of Abraham uh in his little night raid. 
pretty revolutionary. <laughs> 27. And because of this, our march in the nighttime, behold, on the morrow we were beyond the Lamanites. <laughs> and so much that we did arrive before them at the city of Manti. Ha <laughs> ha! 28. And thus it came to pass. Uh, that by this stratagem we did take possession of the city of Manti without the shedding of blood, except didn't they just Well maybe they maybe they didn't kill anybody. I wasn't paying attention on this time. I'll have to watch it later maybe. Twenty-nine and it came to pass. God damn. Twenty nine. And it came to pass that when the armies of the Lamanites did arrive near the city of and saw that we were prepared to meet them. They were astonished exceedingly, and struck with great fear. Uh, insomuch that they did flee into the wilderness. Thirty. Yay. Damn it. It's caught right there. I hate that. That's going to hurt. <coughs> Oh, that's all right. Yay, in verse 30. And it came to pass, sorry about all that. That the armies of the Lamanites did flee out of this quarter of the land. But behold, they have carried with them many women and children out of the land. 31. And those cities which had been taken by the Lamanites, all of them are at this period of time in our possession. <laughs> and our fathers and our women and our children are returned to their homes, all save it be those who have been taken prisoners and carried off by the Lamanites, because that would be impossible. Because they don't really seem to do miracles in this book so far. Not really. Nothing. Nothing very impressive yet. Sorry. I've been reading the whole thing. I mean, I think I would have noticed. Yeah. Damn, I need to touch God damn it. But behold, wait, wait no. Um, I lost my place. God damn it. 31. And those cities which had been taken by. <coughs> Oh, there it is. God, this is fucking him. Been taken by the Lamanites. All of them are at this period of time in our possession. And our fathers and our women and our children are returning to their homes. All save it be those who have been taken prisoners and carried off by the Lamanites. Just, sorry, not possible. Uh, 32. 32. But, behold, 
Our armies are small to make so great a number of cities and so great possessions. I have a bruise there. Uh, 33. But, behold, we trust in our God who hasn't done anything. Who has given us victory over those lands in so much that we have obtained those cities and those lands which are our own? So when the enemy does the same fucking shit, is that the devil, I guess? Beating God? What the fuck? Ah. Uh, this is very interesting. Three. But behold, we trust in our God who has given us victory over those lands, insomuch that we have obtained those cities and those lands which are our own. 34. Now we do not know the cause that our the government does not grant us more strength. Neither do those men who came up unto us know why we have not received greater strength. 35. Behold, we do not know, but what ye are unsuccessful, and ye have drawn away the forces into that quarter of the land. If so, we do not desire to murmur. Yeah, don't bitch. No bitching. Yacht. 36. And if it is not so, behold, we fear that there is some faction in the government that they do not send more men to our assistance. For we know that there are more numerous, they are more numerous than that which they have sent. They can do better than that. 37. But, behold, it mattereth not. We trust God will deliver us, notwithstanding the weakness of our armies, yea, and deliver us out of the hands of our enemies, because if God doesn't do it, you sure aren't. Yeah, what the fuck? And <sighs> thirty-eight. Behold, this is the twenty and ninth year in the latter end, and we are in the possession of our lands, and the Lamanites have fled to the land of Nephi, which you said before. Thirty-nine. And those sons of the people of Ammon, of whom I have so highly spoken, are with me in the city of Manti. And the Lord has supported them, yea, and kept them from falling by the sword, insomuch that even one soul has not been taken. That's very interesting. Forty. But! But behold, they have received many wounds. Nevertheless, they stand fast with that liberty wherewith God has made them free. Okay. Yeah, just be his bitch. That's all it matters. And they are strict to remember the Lord their God from day to day. Oh, really? Yay. They do observe to keep his statutes and his judgments and his commandments 
continually, and their faith is strong in the prophecies concerning that which is to come. 41. And now, my people... Wait. 41. And now, my beloved brother Moroni, may the Lord our God, who has redeemed us and made us free, keep you continually in his presence. Yay. And may he favor this people, even that ye may have success in obtaining the possession of all that which the Lamanites have taken from us. That's all you want. Which was for our support. And now, behold, I closed mine epistle. I am Helaman, the son of Alma, who gets to write the next book in just a couple of chapters. A few chapters. Anyway, that's it for uh, 58. Fascinating shit, wasn't it? Aren't you glad you followed along with that? That wasn't a waste of time at all. Hey, I'm going to finish this fucking book. One way or the other. And I'd probably read all their other ones, too. And if I've got to read them, the next ones are going to be totally cold. I'm going to read them first time on video. Pearl of Great Price, Doctor of the Covenants, that shit. And check out this uh, playlist I threw together of uh, the Red-Headed Zombies uh, King Follett Discourse video series. It's the sermon. It was supposed to be a eulogy that Joseph Smith was going to give. And it was for this guy named King Follett, who's a, an elder. And he ends up going off on this crazy tangent about, you know, the planet cold, the you know, the star Kolob and shit like that. God, you know, being a human being and shit. <laughs> We're going to be God too if we play our cards right. And anyway, that's that's the last sermon Joseph Smith gave, I think. or It's the one where he says, nobody knows my history. Check that out. It's, it's, it's just Joseph Smith's words. And notice the weight. Notice his vernacular. It's, uh, it's not like this. So if he's translating it, how does it turn out sounding like the 1611 King James Version, sort of, but not really. And there it's at. I'm going to stop talking. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Eight. We're almost done with Alma. And uh, then Helaman. And then third Nephi is where JC does a cameo. Gotta see that. We gotta be there, please. Because we're gonna get hammered! Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I really want you to. Bye. And, yeah, go ahead buy this. Uh, wonderful, wonderful fucking soundtrack. That's probably gonna, the Toho people are gonna probably sue me now. Alright, I'm sorry guys, I was just trying to